Hello, my Style Squad Angels. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about the five top wardrobe essentials for summer. Now, I wanted to do this video because when I'm going through closets with my clients or even when I'm shopping with them, recently the common question has been, what should I have in my closet for the summertime? Are there any basics or essentials that I need? Because I speak with them about it, I thought we would also talk about this here on my channel. So let's dive in. First wardrobe essential for summer that I recommend is to get yourself either a statement necklace or statement earring. You guys know I love accessories. I'm a huge advocate for you using them with your outfits because they could completely change the way things look. The reason I recommend statement accessories in particular in the summertime is because often we are grabbing a dress or shorts and a tee or just easy basic items to throw on and head out the door during the day because we don't want to fuss with extra layers. We don't want to fuss with too much in our outfit because it's so darn hot outside. So I love that a statement necklace like this, for example, with a little bit of like beading and a cool pendant that also has a little bit of color, something like this can completely change the way your outfit looks and add a little bit of a bohemian vibe if you want. You can get statement accessories that are a little bit more geometric and sleek, whatever appeals to your or personal style is totally fine, but getting something that just adds a little bit of punch to some of your summer pieces will just look really special when you get dressed. I also recommend a long necklace if you don't have one, just because with all the maxi dresses and jumpsuits that tend to come out this time of year, it's nice sometimes to break up that long line that goes down the body, or not necessarily break it up, but complement it, if you will. Um, so I love long necklaces like this. This has like a cool amount of fringe on it. This is from a brand called Moon Rocks. It's a Canadian brand. So something like this is an example can be really cool and just again will look really beautiful when you're pairing really long items with a long necklace. It'll just help bring the eye down the body and again it just adds something a little extra special. Summer essential that I recommend is to get yourself a really beautiful kimono. So many people ask me what they can layer with in the summertime and one of my favorite things to use is a kimono. They are breezy, they're lightweight, they have this really gorgeous movement to them, and they are such a gorgeous way of bringing a like lovely splash of color into your outfit. I love doing something like this and pairing an all white outfit underneath a really beautiful bright kimono. I just think it looks so incredibly chic and really fresh for the summertime season. I, it, I just, I love it. And if you're someone that is hesitant about wearing color, if you're not really sure how to pair colors together, kimonos typically come in really beautiful, bold patterns and prints that have a lot of color in it. So if you're someone that needs to see color somewhere in your garment in order to bring it else or to bring it out somewhere else in your look, then that is a really nice way to start doing so and feel like you're not always opting for neutrals all the time. Now for summer shoes, what I personally recommend is to get yourself a beautiful wedge. Wedges I love because they elevate the body a little bit, so it has a really slimming effect on the legs and body. It can be great if you're petite too. But what I love about them is that they're so comfortable. So because of that bit of a platform, you don't feel like your foot is quite as high. And I love these because you can easily pair them with casual items in your wardrobe, like shorts, let's say, for example. You can put it with denim if you want. You can put it with trousers and it's gonna look beautiful, but it also looks so elegant with a nice summer dress, like a jean skirt, something like that. And again, it's just, I'm all for versatility, you know that. So I really love using a wedge in the summertime. I think they're just such a great essential. I also recommend getting a nice dress sandal that is flat. So this one is from Coach, and I apologize, there's a bit worse for wear because I've worn them so much for the past couple of years. Uh, but just having a nice dress sandal is good too. So if you don't want to have that elevated feel all the time with a wedge, then this is also really nice, but it'll still look put together. Flip-flops to me just don't cut it. They look a little bit sloppy in my opinion. So getting something that's flat, but also looks intentional and just looks a little bit more elegant is a nice touch to add to just some of your day wear, your nice casual looks. If you're wearing jean shorts, let's say for example, or like anything, even if you just want to dress down a beautiful summer dress, having just a nice flat sandal in a neutral color, let's say for example, can be so wonderful to use. 
The next summer essential I recommend is to get yourself some statement sunglasses. Important to protect our eyes. I love these because they also add a little bit of attitude to any look and they can instantly make your look a little bit more polished. It's just such a simple detail. Now you can get whatever frames and sunglasses you really like. For me personally, I love ones that are oversized. I just love the vibe of them. These ones I'd actually picked up back in the fall. They're by Gucci, which I'm not saying you need a designer pair, but I mean, look at these. They're just such a mood. <laughs> I just love them. They're so big. I love the like retro feel of them and the, like, the gold hardware that runs along the side. I just, ah, I was obsessed with these the minute I saw them. So yeah, get yourself some nice sunnies. I think they're a really beautiful punch to a look. You can get ones that are smaller. You can get a really cool cat eye if you want something with a little bit of sass and attitude, or at least that's what, that, to me, they're a bit of a sassy glass, a uh, sunny, sorry. I just, I think they're so cool. But any kind of sunglasses that add a little bit of a statement to your look, uh, especially if you don't want to wear makeup and you just want to instantly look a little bit more put together, they are great. You don't have to do anything to your eyes. You can just pop out the door and no one will know the difference. <laughs> Another summer must have is a jumpsuit. Jumpsuits are so wonderful to wear. Jumpsuit is so good. It's that one throw on piece that is effortless. You look fantastic and you're comfortable as well. I love a good jumpsuit. They look so chic in the summertime. My tip with this is just to be mindful of where the waistband sits on a jumpsuit. They will all vary in terms of where that seam runs across the waist. Just make sure for your body type in particular, that seam sits at the smallest part of your waist, wherever that may be for the most flattering cut. Only because depending on where you move that seam, it can move and change the way that your body looks. So if you have one that sits at the small of your waist, it'll look gorgeous. But again, these are just easy throw on items, especially when you get them in a wide leg, you just feel like you're slipping on a pair of pajamas. They are so wonderful. Can't recommend them enough. The only downside is that when you go to the bathroom, you feel naked because <laughs> you basically are. Uh, but other than that, they are wonderful and I highly recommend them. Next summer essential to have in your closet is summer dresses. Now this will be no shock to any of you. I feel like everyone knows that you should have a summer dress, but having a few that are just an easy throw on that you can dress up and down, really important I think. It's good to have something where you can use it both from day to play. So having, let's say a t-shirt dress for example is wonderful. They look so great just casually with a flat pair of sandals right? And some really basic, maybe boho inspired kind of accessories. And then during the nighttime, you can swap it out with a clutch and a wedge, right? And a, uh, an accessory that might have a little bit more bling to it. And then instantly you look ready for the nighttime as well, which is really, really cool. And I mean, even during the day, you can wear your sundresses with sneakers too, right? And that also looks really cute. But having dresses that you can dress up and down for the season is nice, again, just to make your life a little bit easier, which I think everyone wants at any time, but especially in the summertime, you just want everything to be easy and breezy with your wardrobe. So having some summer dresses are really key. I had actually done a blog post on this recently on my top summer dresses that are under $150. So I'll leave the link for that blog post down below in case you want some inspo on some really cool summer dresses. The next essential that I recommend is to get yourself a straw or wicker, wicker style bag. Can't talk today. <laughs> they instantly scream summertime. It gives that slight beachy kind of feel, which is what I love. Now, I am a huge lover of the Cult Gaia bags. They're sturdy. They have a really nice structure to them, which also adds a really lovely polish to your look. But I mean, you can find so many great straw bags or wicker style bags in thrift stores, vintage stores. You can find... I mean, everyone will carry that kind of, or that style bag this type of year, or this time of year, sorry. But I just, I love it. It's like an instant summer shot into your look by just using these bags. And they will transition really well to the fall time too. And again, you can use them in the spring, but they, to me, this especially scream summer, which is what I love about them. So this is something I really think that everyone should have in their closet, not necessarily this bag in particular, but just a straw or bamboo slash wicker style bag. I just think looks so good. This Colgea one that I have had now is going on its third or fourth year and I use it so much. It gets so much use from me in the summertime. I just, I love it. I think they're great. <laughs> 
another summer item I recommend is a beautiful summer hat. Now these, I feel like people shy away from them. I know a lot of people will use them on the beach. I in particular use this one. This was from Club Monaco uh, last year, but I used it on the beach, which I love. And the reason I recommend hats is because they add a really fun texture to your outfit in the summertime, in addition, of course, to protecting your skin, which is really important from UV rays and such. But I just, there's something about them that adds a very My Fair Lady vibe to your look, depending on the style you pick up. But again, it's just, it's another cool accessory. It's something and some way of making your outfit really unique. It's cool to make it stand out. I just, I really, really love them. And I love ones that have a little bit of a ribbon or a bow that kind of goes around them. I think this is just a really pretty dainty detail. I love this one in particular just because it has that really frayed uh, rim to the hat, which again just adds that really nice summertime beachy kind of vibe to it. But again, cool texture to your outfit, bit of attitude, bit of sass, and again, keeps your skin looking flawless. <laughs> And then the last summer essential I recommend, which is kind of a bonus, we've obviously gone over five, <laughs> is to get yourself some white pants. Now you could do white pants in denim if that lends well more to your lifestyle, or you could get a white trouser. I personally love the idea of getting a white trouser or a cropped leg trouser or, or even um, like a cropped wide leg, just because to me, it's something, again, that you can dress up and down. You can still pair it with sneakers and casual footwear and casual items in your wardrobe and kind of dress that piece down. But if you do have something where you want to dress up a little bit, to me, white pants are so elegant. They just, oh, they scream, again, summertime to me. And they really make any color that you pair with a white pant just pop next to it. It just looks so fresh and modern. I really, really love a good white pant. For me, again, in particular, more of a trouser style. But again, even a white denim will look so beautiful in your wardrobe. You will get so much wear out of it. And don't worry, so many people say to me, oh my gosh, I'm so worried about spilling something on a white pant or a white jean. I am so clumsy, admittingly. I was terrified when I first got my pair of white pants, but you know what? I've been okay. I haven't spilled anything on them yet, knock on wood. <laughs> but it's just, it really changes the look of an outfit. I just think they're so fabulous and I highly recommend it. Anyway, my angels, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any summer essentials that you think are wonderful things for the closet, please comment down below, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that little red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future videos from me. And other than that, my angels, I love you too the moon and back and I will see you again in the next video. Bye guys.